What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. This is a review for Catfish. This is season 7 episode um, 29, Mathan and Leah. Um, before we get into the review, if you have not done so already, please remember to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think about this video with a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Comment on the video, share the video, and um, just let me know what you think. Um, so let's just get right into it. First and foremost, it's 2019. How is niggas still getting catfished out here in these streets in 2019? I don't understand how that happens. I, 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 don't, I don't understand in 2019 how motherfuckers are still out here getting catfished. There are too many ways, too many ways to have communication to uh, verify if somebody is who the fuck they say they are. You can have a motherfucker take a picture of a water bottle with the do sign up to the to the camera like this to verify who the hell they are. There's no way in 2019 niggas sh should still be out here getting catfish in these streets. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Nathan is 22 years old. He's from LA. He's been talking to this chick Leah for the last um what do you say the last um nine years. They've been talking um on the phone since they were 13 years old. Well, since he was 13, right? So, this whole time they've been talking, he only got a handful of pictures of the chick. A handful of pictures in nine years. That's flag number one, okay? She tells him that the only way they'll ever be able to visit or meet up and meet in real life is if he pays for everything. That's flag two. Two. I hear in these damn streets, right? But regardless of what, he loves her. Um, he, he wants to meet her. He wants to see where this relationship can go, right? He said that they uh, met on this website called Meet Me, right? When they first was talking, everything was great. They would talk on the phone for hours at end. He knew that she had a troubled um, past, a troubled childhood, right? She would um, run away from home. She was in bad relationships. She didn't have good relationships with her family. She was just in and out of a lot of bullshit or whatever, right? So he said that there would be times when they would be talking on the phone and in mid-sentence as they're talking, homegirl would just click, disappear, and would disappear for days, weeks, months on end. And then lo and behold, she'll pop up sometimes later. Hey, how's it going? Bitch, what the fuck? Well, where you been? But he loves her, and he said he never questioned why she would disappear for so much time, and 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 he didn't hear anything from her. And then when she would call him, he said that's how he knew that they were destined because they would just pick it up right where they left off, like nothing ever happened. No, that's because you stupid as hell. I'm sorry, and I don't mean to call him stupid because saying somebody's stupid is is very ugly. But that's just. You're doing stupid like things. That's just dumb to me. I'm sorry. That's just dumb off the bat. Okay. She even told him at a point in time that she was uh, pregnant and she got an abortion. Right. But he said that, you know, he, he didn't care. He, she was there for him during a lot of things that he had went through. He was there for her doing a lot of things that she had gone through. Even so recently her father had passed away. Right. So, um, it's coming up on a year of her father passing away and he is really determined to meet her. So of course, you know, he reached out to Neve and, um, he's got this co-host, um, I think her name is Cammie Crawford. She's a cute little young girl. She's on there. That's his co-host or whatever. Right? So he gives Neve and Cammie the rundown of, you know, all of this shit, this, all of this shit about, um, homegirl Leah, right? So they end up going, getting the information that they got. They take it back to the hotel or whatever, right? So you know how they do that little search that they do. Neve is cold out here in these motherfucking streets. He can find out some shit about your ass, right? So he first tries to look for the girl just by finding her by her name, Leah Mayer. Well, you know, that's what um, Nathan had her by. Looks by her social medias, all that. He's not really finding nothing. But he sees on her social media that she had just posted something um, like within that same day about um, it's coming up on a year, dad, that we're celebrating your birthday and you're not here. I love you and I miss you. And it's an active page. So they go look at the dad's page and they're like, okay, well, the dad has a different last name. Let's look up Leah by her first name and by the dad's last name. Look up the bitch by the last name. Boop, there it is. 
they find a whole motherfucking news report about this bitch. When she was 16, she was a heroin addict, in and out of juvenile, had a baby without doctors, and the baby is still yet to be found. She delivered a baby, um, a baby girl named Hazel, and the baby was never found. So, I'm guessing all of them times when homegirl would disappear in and out of his life, she was in and out of rehab, she was in and out of jail, like he said, she would disappear months or whatever on time, news reports say homegirl was in and out of jail, you know what I'm saying, you gotta put two and three and four, five and six together, bro. So, of course, they go and they find out this information. They go back and they let Mathan know. Mathan is shocked in a motherfucker. You can just see all the love and the life just drained from that poor little boy. He felt so, oh man, I felt bad for him, whatever, right? But regardless of what, he loves old girl and he wants to meet old girl. He's like, well, I'm sure there's an explanation for this. I want to give her the benefit of the doubt. I want to know what's going on. So I still want to meet her. I want to see what's going on, right? So he's like, you know, um, Neve and Cammie, they're like, all right, cool. So, you know, we're going to try to reach out to homegirl, right? So they trying to call her and nobody answer the phone. They calling, texting, bitch ain't answering the phone, right? So Neve is like, all right, well, I'm just going to send her a text message, let her know, hey, this is Neve with Catfish. I got Nathan here. He really want to meet you. Holla back at me. Let me know what you want to do. All right, cool. So while they still sitting up there waiting waiting or whatever to hear back from her, Neve was like, well, you know what I'm saying? Let's just look her up, see if we can find an address. Neve, with his sloop, super sleuth ass, he found an address for this bitch in Washington where she said she lived at, where they was able to find out all the other information with her connecting back to Seattle, Washington, right? So, Neve was like, regardless of what, we got the bitch address. She don't answer back fucking. We can just roll over there. We got the address. It is what it is. And we can just figure out what happened there. Everybody like, all right, cool. So, they leave. They finna go back to the hotel or whatever, right? This is uh, Neve and Cammy. They wrapped it up for the day. You know what I'm saying? Homeboy, he shook his shit. He finna cry as soon as they leave. You already know. That nigga probably was in the shower crying that night. So, they leave. Uh, Cammy and um, Neve leave. And as they leaving, homegirl end up calling back. She called back like it ain't shit though. Neve answered the phone. He like, hello. She was like, hi. Hi. Um, did she call this is Leah? And he was like, uh, yeah, Leah, this is this is Neve, like with catfish. She was like, oh yeah, hi Neve, how are you? And he was like, nah, 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 my nigga, this is like Neve, Neve, like catfish, Neve, Neve, like, like bitch, the jig is up, Neve. Oh yeah, hi, hi Neve, how are you? He was like, oh, shit, I'm cool and I'm chilling. I'm going to say, I got your nigga mate in here. He trying to hook up, trying to meet with you. Like, what's the deal? Like, you trying to meet him or what? Because we can make that shit happen. And she was like, yeah, I really want to meet him. You know, it's been a long time coming. I want to meet him. You know, yada, 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 yada. So, Neve, like, all right, cool. We can do all of that. But say, um, we know we done looked up some shit. And, you know, we know you got some shit going on. You, you, but... You ain't who you, 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 but, I mean, you, you, but you ain't who you said everything, who you was to, to name, to make them, so, you know what I'm saying, you got some explaining to do, homegirl. She was like, alright, cool, it's been a long time coming, I can't wait for y'all to come, he's like, alright, bet, we on the first thing smoking, we be up there to Seattle tomorrow, we'll see you, alright, bet, cool. Homegirl sound excited, it seemed like shit is going good, right? They on the flight going down there to Seattle, calling, texting, bitch ain't answering the phone. She ain't texting nobody back. Well, bitch, you excited for us to come down there, and now you ain't answering back. Steady calling. Steady trying to reach out to this hoe. The bitch ain't answering back, right? So they like, all right, cool. You know, it is what it is. So that finally they get down to Seattle. They still trying to get up with this bitch. She ain't answering the phone. So one of them end up going on their um, social media looking, seeing the bitch end up posting something that motherfucking day. This bitch going to post, I love my baby, um, my baby Darnell, he getting fresh out of jail, I can't wait for you to get home, I miss you, I miss my baby. Bitch, what? You just, first of all, bitch, how is, I'm trying to reach out to you, and your monkey ass, you on social media, you can't even answer me back, let me know, even I don't want to fucking talk to you, but you can be on social media, Really? And then you on social media posting about a whole nother nigga. And you got a whole nother nigga coming here to see you. Oh. So Neve like, all right, 
Bitch don't want to answer the phone. Fuck it. Let's go to the address that we got, you know, on file for this hoe. Let's go. Let's sign up. Let's ride out. So they end up going to the address that they got on file. Neve knocking on the door all real soft and shit. Ain't nobody come to the door. Cammy go knock on the door. She's like, Neve, move out the motherfucker. Like, bow, 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 bow. Somebody end up coming to the door. Then she was like, oh shit, let me get it back. Let me go hide behind these. Just somebody come, you know what I'm saying? I can push a white boy away and I can take out running real quick. You know what I'm saying? That's what she did. So somebody end up coming to the door and they were like, uh, yeah, how can I help you? Neve was like, yeah, we looking for Leah. It was like, uh, ain't no Leah here. You got the wrong house. Um, are you sure you don't know Leah? Nah, man, I don't know Leah. You got the wrong house, homeboy. Okay, all right, all right, cool, cool, bet, bet. So, they stuck on stupid. They don't know what the fuck to do. So, they end up looking through the bitch social media, end up finding some other chick, come to find out the chick they end up finding is her sister, right? Her sister end up giving they ass to school that the bitch got to go to court that day. And it's only one courthouse in the little town that they stay in. So, they go to the courthouse, trying to stake out at the motherfucking courthouse, thinking, okay, we finna catch the bitch either coming in or out. The bitch got a report. So we going to catch this hoe when she even coming in or out. Because now that this hoe got me fucked up, right? So they sitting outside the courthouse like some super sleuths. The bitch don't show up. They out there at least three, four, five good hours. They go up to some chicks who they thought was her. And one of the chicks was like, ain't you famous? He was like, yeah, something like that. Nigga, you know you motherfucking me. Nigga, you famous. Quit all that bullshit, nigga. So... They end up calling um, the sister back. They was like, hey, she just show up to the courthouse like, hey, you know, what to do? Woo, woo, you know, we trying to get in contact with this bitch. What's up? Sister's like, I'm at the house with the bitch right now, but her boyfriend is here. And this nigga crazy. He crazy out here in the streets. So don't come around here with these cameras and shit because it's real. And her nigga gonna get real. And I don't think he ready for this kind of real. So don't come over here with that shit. But what I'm gonna try to do, I'm gonna try to sneak this bitch up out the house. And I'm gonna meet y'all somewhere. I'm gonna call you when I got this hoe somewhere. And y'all can come around and boom, y'all can just pop up on the bitch like that, right? So he was like, all right, cool, cool, bet. So they sitting and they waiting and they waiting and they sitting. Then homeboy Nathan ended up getting a text, right? It said, hey, come meet me around the back. Everybody like, oh, shit, it's going down. That bitch is here now. Now I'm finna get my motherfucking answers. Everybody saddled up. They finna ride out. They go around the back. Come to find out, the bitch sister end up coming up. Everybody like, bitch, what? She like, no, I couldn't get her to leave the house. Her boyfriend is jealous. He know about you. And that's why I told you don't come over to the house because shit going to get real, real, real. So that's why I told you can come over there. So everybody like, ah, oh, bitch, you like, bitch, that could have been an email. That could have been a text because you had a nigga like hyped up like we finna meet her and she don't even show up. But you know what? I think for a part of me though, okay, just, just hear me out though. I think Really, for real, for real? I, I bet you that's that motherfucking sister. I bet you it's been the, whole, the sister the whole fucking time. Because if you go back and if you listen to the phone call and you listen to the sister right then and there talking, you, she could have easily disguised her fucking voice. She was probably using her sister shit, not thinking that this nigga was going to be smart enough to realize, okay, this bitch got a, oh, no, nah, this bitch got a, a motherfucking rap. Oh, this nigga was going to call catfish on me. No, 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 no. So she had to get up out that shit. For some reason, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's the sister that did that shit, though. But the world may never know because that was a catfish first. Neve did not catch the catfish. And that was the end of the episode right there, y'all. Let me know what y'all thought about it. I thought it was good. Um, I will be coming to you with the next review, and I will be on time with it this time. And thank you very much. Let me know what you thought about the video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next catfish. And hey, don't get catfished out here in these streets. Don't do it. Don't do it. Peace. What's up, y'all? Do me a favor and share the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think and um, hit that notification button so you will be up to date when I upload my latest videos. Ahala.